Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about coupling dynamics and communication patterns for couples. And the topic for this video is feedback. <laughs> A minute. There's a beautiful wind kicking in right now. So some of those uh, advices that I'm giving you here in the clear communication overlap a little bit, but it doesn't matter. It's okay to listen to them multiple times. So the feedback minute is something that is really powerful to establish in uh, your relationship. It goes together with uh, daily or weekly check-ins, but sometimes it's just something that you might have to do or want to do exceptionally. And the feedback minute is, is this. It is that instead of just coming to your partner and just bombarding them with some feedback, what you have to do is to create a safe space and a safe container and a time and just take the time to sit down. You know, before you share something, the feedback minute is this. It is that before you share something with your partner, whether it's positive or challenging, you want them to be actually present and listening to you. If your partner is on the phone or texting or doing something behind the computer or busy with something, you know, clear in the, the, the yard or, or communicating with their friends and you go, hey, yesterday I wanted to tell you, like, and you start sharing, you're just in your own space, you don't realize that your partner right now might not really taking in the feedback and the reflection that you have to offer them. And so the idea is very simple. You ask first for permission. You just, you know, it's not necessarily, hey, can I, am I allowed to share something? No, it's like, hey, I've got something in my mind and uh, I wanted to offer you some reflections. So you can do that within the context of, you know, the, the daily or the weekly check-in, or you can do that at some moments where it's, it's exceptional. It's like throughout the day, there might be a moment where something is happening in your field. The, th the thing that is very important is you check first with your partner is this a good, if this is a good time. And uh, the reason why you want to check in first is because they might be in the middle of something that is really requiring their full undivided attention. And in the process of being there, you know, instead of this being like this wave of communication, eventually you start talking about something and then eventually you end up in the middle of an argument and you don't even know why or where it started. You know, the reason why people start fights like that unconsciously is because they are not really present. You don't realize that there is something there, an emotion passing by, and then you grab that emotion and you start sharing from that place and it's not really anchored or conscious. You go like, why, why am I saying this? Actually, it's not what I'm feeling. So... Uh, taking the time to actually sit down, taking the time to, to be present, to look into each other's eyes and be like, hey, I've got a vital truth to share to you. I just realize how much I love you and how much you, you mean to me. And the depth of the, the connection and the relationship that we have just thrills me. Every day waking up next to you is just such a gift and I'm really enjoying that. That's it. That's the feedback minute. And when you receive, when you receive that feedback, you know, the goal is very simple. It's like, Thank you for sharing your truth. You don't have to respond. You don't have to apologize. You don't have to block a compliment or block a challenging feedback. You just receive it, pause, integrate it. Thank you. That feels really good. It feels really good to hear that. I'm glad you're having a good time in this relationship. So am I. You see? It's, it's, and those protocols are really important because they give a certain form of, of uh, structure and uh, safety to the way you communicate in your relationship.